Ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the beautiful Missouri River in Montana today, and we're hoping to have some great fishing. We've got a gorgeous day in April. What do you think, Steve? Yeah, it's great. We're on the famous Missouri River. Nice day. Might get a little bit windy later on, but uh, should catch a lot of rainbows, hopefully. Let's go give it a shot. Yeah, let's do it. Today we'll be fishing the Missouri River just below Holter Lake. The stretch of river we're fishing today is from Holter Dam down to Craig, and it's about a seven and a half mile section. It's a full day float. We found a likely spot, and Steve let down the anchor. I can go way deep. Ooh, Ooh that's a fish. Nice. That's a fish. Nice. Yes, indeed. Sweet, sweet, sweet. These buggers like to come right at you. Yeah. The first run is right at you. Yeah, it was kind of interesting because we uh, anchored here and we're just about ready to uh, maybe pull up anchor and head down river and then the fish hits. No doubt that it's a big fish. I'm going to make sure that I don't reel in anymore because okay. my fly line is right at the edge. Doesn't want to come up to the surface. Come on, spent too much time getting this guy this way. Wow. Gosh. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Finally, the fish began to tire, and I managed to pull it toward the boat. Okay, got the net. Okay. All right. I think he's ready, Steve. Okay. Let's, let's get I him. I think he's ready. I'm just well, he's a good fighting fish. Yeah, though. oh yeah. He's put up yeah. quite a long battle. Oh. That's the most dangerous part. Yeah, good job, Steve. Woo! That's a nice one. Boy, that's a good one. That is a nice fish. Beauty. Oh. Wow, what a nice fish, yeah, my goodness. Beautiful. That guy fought hard, he just went deep. And... Yeah, that's a gorgeous, awesome trout. Beautiful, beautiful trout. Steve took a turn at the bow. Oh there yeah, is. that's a fish. Nice, Steve. Thanks. There he goes. Woo! Awesome. Boy, howdy, that thing yeah. is way out there. Mm -hmm. Wow. Still going. Wow. <laughs> Tell you what, he doesn't have to work too hard in them. He's going. Yeah, definitely. I don't know, lad. Yeah. Let's see here. I could chase him if we have to. Oops, that Yikes. wasn't very smart. Yikes. Went the wrong way. Now we're getting into backing here. Wow. Oh, he's gone. You gotta be kidding me. Nope, it just came loose. How? I don't know, just popped loose. I mean, it's been a lot of pressure, but wow. it just popped loose. That must have been a mongo fish. Yeah, I think it was pretty big. I didn't feel like I ever had control of the thing. It was just kept going, going, going. Wow. Awesome. Though. Yeah, yeah, it was big. If you're a novice with a drift boat, the Missouri River is a great place to start. It's a nice stretch. There's no rapids and there's a lot of fish. So, good place to come. Oh, there yeah. Is. That's a fish. You want to anchor nice. or not? Huh? You want to anchor or not? I uh, will not anchor this time. Oh, boy. Oh, no. My bad. Woo! It's going right out of the boat. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm like, just grab them while he's down Feisty there. bugger. Yikes. Oh, watch your fire rod tip. Yikes. Yeah. Get this oar in now. Crazy fish. Yeah, that's a crazy one there. Maybe it might help to anchor a bullet or not. I don't know. Oh, you could row us up maybe if we, if he. Oh, that's I a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. I don't think he's that big though. Oh yeah, nice. beautifully colored fish. <laughs> Very cool. Nice. Well, 
Boy, it's a beautiful, bright one. Not quite as big as the others, but beautiful colors. No doubt. Yeah, same fly. They like it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. Very nice. Gotta love it. Another beautiful yeah, Missouri, Missouri rainbow. Got the right fly. We're seeming to find the right places now, getting this thing figured out and dialed in and catching some nice fish. Awesome job. <laughs> ah. And this is the fly that caught the fish. It has a bright orange head. And here's the wire worm. It's really heavy, sinks quickly, still catches fish. And then a little split shot. And then the thingamabobber. Craig, Montana should be the starting point for a Missouri River trip. I mean, you have, I don't know how many fly shops in a small town like this population of, I don't know what. I don't know. People. Drift boats everywhere, yeah. fishermen everywhere. Yeah. My kind of town. Yeah, it's very cool. Check out this restaurant. There it is. Oh, oh so that's a fish. fish. Oh, it's a good one. I saw it. Well, they're all good. They're all about the same. <laughs> Very good. Boy, it's just coming at me big time. Okay. We are on fire. Yeah. Okay. If he's big enough that we need to chase him, we can do that. Wow. Fun. Oh yeah, beauty. Beauty. Sure. Sure. This is a nice oh, shoot! Darn it. Golly. <coughs> Darn it. Yikes, that was a good fish. Yep. Wow. You know where we should anchor? Remember when we were looking to ooh. Got him. Yeah, fish, fish, fish. Stay on it. Woo! Nice. Can you back? Back. Back, back cool. Back middle. I'll try. Uh, I got him still. Yeah. Since we're right close to shore, Steve and I are going to just try to go to shore to land this. Let me spin us around. Yeah, put your butt in, yeah. I think. Okay, Steve. Yep. Get out. Okay. I'll get out first here. All right. Maybe I can get net it for you. Should I get out too? Uh, yeah. Okay. I think so. I think that's a good spot. Right, I'll try and jump out. All right. All right. Okay. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Nice I fish. Thing out there. Yeah. Wow. Whew. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Oh, good job. Awesome. <laughs> nice, dude. The big bow. Wow. Yeah, it took that same fly, too. Okay. Goodness, it's cold. Okay. Wow. Ready? Beautiful. Beautiful bow. Look at that thing. <laughs> Boy, it's been a while since the last hit. Fortunately, I wasn't sleeping when that strike indicator went down. Set the hook and got him. Nice job. Thanks, that was awesome. Good fighter. The tip of the week is brought to you by Northwest Outfitters located at the village at Riverstone in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. One of the great things I feel about swinging flies for steelhead is there's still a really good etiquette involved that not all but most people I think really strive to follow. When you're by yourself 
you can kind of do whatever you want. If I was by myself, I could stay in one spot and fish all day. But as soon as somebody else comes, another angler, a friend, or anybody comes down and wants to share this run, I'm gonna start stepping through the run so they can get above me. So after every cast, I will take two steps and make my cast again. It's also the best way to cover the water. By starting up above the fish, I am gonna go down and ensuring I'm covering water the whole time. Hopefully that fish might see my fly five, six, seven, ten times before it eats. But if I'm methodic and put it in front of it and keep moving down, I have a much better chance of covering the whole run. When you're taking a step, I like to pull my line in, take a step or two, and retake my cast. It's very much like back trolling a fly. And in back trolling, you start at the top, methodically work your way through the run, and there are times when you can actually push a fish down to the end of the run and kind of force its hand and make it eat. So there's a great etiquette involved, but it's also a much preferred method to cover the water and really put your fly consistently in front of the most fish you can. This is the first time Steve and I have ever fished the Missouri River. We've heard an awful lot about it, how fantastic the fishing was, and as far as we're concerned, we totally agree. It's a great place to fish. This stretch of the Missouri that we're fishing has a high concentration of rainbows as compared to browns, and sure enough, that's what we've been catching today. I was watching some pelicans, but Steve managed to stay focused on his indicator. Oh, hit? I don't know. I just looked back and it was disappeared. This is getting fairly close to where that fish rose. Okay. I think it's a fish. Oh, he's got one, yes. I'm oh, drop boy. An anchor. Ah, come on. Drop an anchor. Wow. Nice, Steve. <laughs> All right. Yes. Woo! Gotta get short. This current's pushing us down yep. the stream so yep. hard. Current in the wind. See if we can get over there and land it over there. Watch your line. I'm gonna yep, try to. Yep. I'm gonna go like a madman. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Wow, Steve. We it's finally got fish. here to shore. Yep. Finally got the anchor down in a tough spot. But well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to try to get out in front. Okay. And if you can uh, lead the fish over to me over here, I think I can net it. Okay. Down here. Okay, let's give it a try. Okay. Good job. Thanks. Okay. I'm going to hook up the anchor. Okay. Let's do this. Here you go. Ready? Here. All right. Oh, yeah, there she is. That's a big fish. Woo! Goodness. Drag his head up. All Yikes. There it goes again. Whoa, he's got you. Ah. <gasps> Woo, baby. Wow. Did not like that. Nice. That's a crazy fish. <laughs> wow. Wow, Steve. Wow. Whoa! Gosh. Steve, what do you think about coming out here? Sure. Okay. Steve's gonna try to come out. That way we can chase this thing down the bank a little bit. Okay. Okay. Oops, I'm up on that. Okay. Alright. Oh! Yeah, yes. we got a fish. Good job. Got a fish. Woo. Whoa, that, that was work. Rainbow. Yeah, that was a really tough situation there, but wow. look at that. Fish. That is a nice trout. Wow. Gorgeous rainbow. Mm -hmm. Wow, Steve, very nice. Thanks. Gorgeous rainbow. Man, beautiful spots. Okay, this trout. 
long mm, fish. Yeah, and heavy too. Really nice girth on it. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Boy, <laughs> howdy. That was a tough landing yeah, job that there. That was. It's a really tough corner. The wind's blowing us. Yeah. <laughs> had to scramble. Had to yeah. jump out of the boat. Go up over the rocks. You had to toss from the net. <laughs> <laughs> Had to pull up anchor four times. Crazy, got it in. That's crazy. Yeah, I was thinking that we were going to do that whole thing and then it was going to break off. Yeah, but, usually but, that's what happens, but yeah, not this time. Yeah, so. we got it. Very nice. Good job. Thanks. Florida, a big river like this, it all kind of looks the same, but after a while you can kind of decipher where the small seams are. And uh, that's where you want to put your indicator and flies. Uh, you look for foam lines, stuff like that. And once you get that dialed in, you can catch fish. Ooh. Yep, that's Got a it. fish. Nice. Yeah, it's a good one. <laughs> nice. <laughs> wow. Thanks. Wow. Wow. Oh boy. boy. Yeah. Oh my. What a jump. That was awesome. Yeah, man. This is. Not the biggest fish oh, I had, yeah. but it's definitely the most acrobatic <laughs> I've had. <laughs> yeah. Woo! This guy does not know that he's not a monster fish. Mm -hmm. Wow. You know what? Could that be a brown? Maybe. Okay, it's coming your way. Oh, maybe it's... it's yeah. yeah. It is a... Brown trout. Brown trout! Yep, nice brown trout, too. Yeah. Good wow. job, lad. Thanks. Gosh. That's a there good brown trout. Yeah, finally. Wow. And uh, we've been fishing. All day, you know, hoping to catch, uh, what am I saying? <laughs> but anyway, that was a nice brown. It was beautiful. <laughs> so, what an awesome, awesome day we've had here. And here we are, you know, we're right near the town of Craig and yep. just right out in front of the Boat house. Boat launch is just down the river. Yep. We're 100 yards from the launch, yep. getting out. About ready to take off out of here, so. Saw the fish rise. Yep, stopped and. Kabang. The rest is history. <sighs>